working out here on Top of Buy in LA, trying to the, trying our best to fit into our swimsuit. But you know what? I learned something new today, mm. uh, Giselle. That even if you work out, you still have to diet. It's very yeah. important. Um, so, how effective is uh, counting calories? Do you count calories, Giselle? I don't yeah. count calories, right? but what I do is portion control. Okay. You know, okay. so uh, I try to think like. Uh, as big as my fist, right. right? I don't try to eat as more, more than, than that. Okay, right. and Anna is still here with us from Barry's yeah. Boot Camp. Um, calorie counting, is it uh, important? important? Absolutely, and yeah. it doesn't matter if you're eating 4,000 calorie apple. I mean, that's completely possible. You just have to eat a lot more than, say, right. a chocolate bar. But still, um, calorie counting is, is essential. How do you count calories? Because I know that when you get something like a snack, it says in the label, like, you know, how many calories. Right. When you go to a restaurant, the menu, it says there, too. Right. But then at the same time, I just read a news what, a few days ago. They're saying that it's not so accurate after all. So. Even, yeah, even the Weight Watchers things that you buy, mm -hmm. usually they don't match. Right. Really. So, so how you do you got, count? you got to know. I mean, I for, personally, I pick really clean foods so that way I don't have to worry as much about, you know, processed foods. What's and clean that food? For instance, like, I'll buy my own lean chicken oh. or ground turkey, 99% right. or something like that. And then I prepare it. I measure it. I weigh it. You know, oh, have three ounces. Right. And that way, because people tend to underestimate the amount that they're eating. Right. Yes. And they'll have, like, oh, I'm having rice and chicken. It's great, but they're having this plate of rice. Hello, mm -hmm. you know, 2,000 calories or whatever it is. How many exactly calories right. do we need in a day? I would say it depends on what your goal is. You know, it's to very individual. Mm -hmm. Maybe to lean out, like, 1,700 calories if you're trying to build muscle. Mm -hmm. But, again, that's, it's about nutrient timing, what carbs are you eating, how many, you know, how much protein are you getting the day. So it's very individual. You have to use certain measurements to find out. But you know what I what what I what baffles me is uh -huh. to lose one pound. Uh -huh. You have to burn three thousand calories. You have to be under. It has to be a deficit of wow. three thousand. Three thousand. Is it counted on what? Like as far as um, in terms for one pound. For one pound. But you're talking calories? about. Yeah. But well. There's, uh, there's, you know, 3,000. It's not like 3,000, but it's like you have to stay under a certain. Yes, you have a to deficit. Basically, we could just say all these numbers are very individual. Right. Calorie count. One person might burn 3,005. You know, it's very different. But, so, uh -huh. but basically, you have to exert more energy out than you're use than you're putting then you're in your body. Basically, keep your heart yeah. rate up. But exactly. uh, how do you thre uh, tread the line between uh, like dieting, but then also sometimes uh, starving yourself? You're not supposed to starve yourself. I mean, I personally... If you're hungry... Right. I use, personally, I use vegetables because I can eat pounds of vegetables. I'll eat a pound of broccoli instead of this much white rice. So, hindi pala pwedeng pandesal, Giselle. Hindi eh, Kung gusto mo mag-snacks, hindi ka pwedeng mag-pandesal. Vegetables. Um, last two minutes on the show, I know we've still got some exercises, but tell us about Barry's Boot Camp for busy people. Busy right. moms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Busy, busy people. Wow. What kind of schedule can you... Uh, it's amazing. Our schedule is, it doesn't matter what time you come during the day, you're still going to get the right workout for your body part. Monday's always going to be arms and abs, even if you come 5 a.m. in the morning or if you come 8 p.m. at night. Mm -hmm. So that's really great. And that way, you know, everyone that has, everyone from corporate people to busy moms or, you know, actors, everyone can come to Barry's Boot Camp. Right. It's always an hour. And because it's so effective, you get your cardio, you get your weight training. So you don't have to worry about it. You're done. Sounds good. But you have to commit to going daily every day because Mondays are arms and... Arms and abs, uh -huh, Tuesdays, Tuesdays, butt and legs, okay. Wednesdays, chest and abs, and then Thursdays are uh, shoulders and back. And then okay. we do full body on Friday to kind of wrap it up. All right. If you want yeah. more information, we have the website on the screen for you, Barry's Boot Camp. They have different uh, branches. Yeah. So you, we can go. And you yeah. Can, you Hollywood? can go. I own the Irvine location uh -huh. that opened up in April. Wow. And uh, there's a West Hollywood one where you can actually meet Barry himself. Mm -hmm. right. There's Sherman Oaks, uh -huh. which is amazing. And we have where Kim Kardashian goes, for instance. Uh, and then we have San Diego, okay. New York just opened up, a lot. and Norway is coming in August. Or there is a uh, couple by an L.A. studio to sell right. you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Enjoy the weekend while we work out. We'll see you again on Monday. Awesome. Okay, what's next? All right, so we're just going to wrap that little section uh -huh. up here. So two again. Okay. Uh, we were doing, okay, so I want you to do shoulder or um, twisting arm extensions. Okay. So again, wide plie here, same okay. stance. Keep your core strong. Okay. Nothing is moving below the hips, okay? So you go jab to the side. Ooh. Then, right? Got it? <laughs> Working out your whole arm here. Fun. Shoulders, triceps. Okay. All right. How's that going? 